You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm gonna be playing Marvel vs. Capcom. The first one, actually, on the PlayStation Classic. And like I said on my previous video, I just needed an excuse to play these fighting games again and test out my um, joystick on it, if it's working good. And um, Marvel vs. Capcom series, very well-known crossover uh kinda still alive to this day kinda because nobody's playing it that much anymore but as late as last year there wait was it last year oh no the other year there was still a update that is marvel vs capcom infinite just wasn't as well received as its previous um, iterations and this isn't the one that started at all actually of course there was X-Men vs Street Fighter or you can even go back to Children of the Atom which featured Akuma already so sort of a crossover anyway let's go ahead uh, let's see Going with Strider and Mega Man. No, well, mm, I, hmm, who should I choose? I'll go with Capcom Commando. Oh, Mega Man, that is. Of course, button layout may be messed up or not to my preference. Let's see. Uh, there. <laughs> see a menu coming is coming up. Uh, it's not that bad. There we go. On a second thought, it is bad. Well, this needs getting used to, but as I always mention, you can always change it. I just don't... Maybe, you know, maybe soon I'll give them their own configuration files to make things easier. Well, it's a good thing I chose Mega Man then. And it actually looks good in, well, sort of uh, high definition here, sort of. Of course, this is just upscale, I guess. Of course, that's those are the things you cannot actually do against a normal player. It's just that the AI is not that bright enough to avoid those. You cannot abuse them. Urgh. There you go. 
Ah! <laughs> These buttons I'm pressing. Maybe I should just mod my stick to... Well, I should be modding the configuration, not my stick itself. <laughs> ah! Okay, okay. Alright, I'm messing it up. I don't know how to... Wait, how do we remove this thing? What did I press? Oh, there you go. Just when I'm dead. But you get the idea anyway. It's just that... Um, I really should make my own configuration. It's just not... It's not actually difficult. Alright, we're going all Marvel this time. Actually, let's go X-Men. is my um, problem right now the controls or the AI actually stepping up their game still can make this I think let's just uh, spam a few things and there you go and Thor made his first appearance in Marvel game here Wow he didn't really want me to do that uh, that's good AI sudden spam like on difficulty but um, all right, I'll give it one more shot let's use Venom and Spider-Man US agent, a recaller of uh, Captain America there. Of course, a completely different character in the comics. There you go. Anyway, configuration of the controller aside, everything is working great. Um, definitely better than the PlayStation version because that has actually only one-on-one -on -one fights in forms of rounds instead of the two-on-two -two that we get from the actual arcade game. 
It's due to the limitations, of course, of the hardware. And the frame animations are complete. So yeah, this is definitely the way to play this game on your PlayStation Classic. Even if there is a, like a um, PlayStation 1 port of this game. Anyway, I think that should be it for this uh, vid ah. video. You're watching 8-Bit uh, Days a Week and this is Marvel vs. Capcom, the arcade version. Running on the PlayStation Classic. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.